Hello guys, welcome in the first move in the new workshop. Took me some time to prepare all of this space here with all the tools and furnitures, but now I have some time to do some new interesting projects. And today I'll be upgrading my old uh, CY6 one Pro motor with the latest uh, X12 controller, which you can see over here. So I'll be also replacing the motor core to do the latest uh, fourth generation. And I'll install this motor on my reason bike, which is standing over there. So let's get delve into details about this new controller and the motor core. And after the, everything is installed, I will do some testing and I'll give my opinion about this new controller and the motor. So stay with me, watch it to the end. Here on the table you can see the parts that I'll be you know, uh, installing together. So this is my old motor, I think two or three years old, don't remember exactly how much. But recently it was uh, start to show signs of uh, failing hole sensors. So that's the main reason why I decided to go with this upgrade with the new controller and with new motor. So as, as you can see I replaced, removed this uh, right bracket already. So it's ready for uh, disassembly. And here is this new motor core. When you will read the specs on the CYC website, you will see it's like 10 millimeters longer. And you can see it here. Sorry for the light. If you don't see all the details properly. But that's the consequence of having a window. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, the length is bigger, diameter is the same, so it will fit in all the older generations, the gearbox and all the brackets. See why see is adding this uh, extra part, so this uh, bracket to install, yeah. to use the old parts, you could say. With the new motor. And here is the controller, X12. So it's much bigger than the X6 you can see on the left side. I can just put it one next to each other. So as you can see, it's almost double the length. Hmm. But it comes with much more powerful components. So uh, you can see uh, the arrangement of cables is much better than on X6, which I don't like to be honest. Where it goes at the back side of the controller, so you need to bend these cables in order to move them here. This new control X12, they're going on the top, so it's less uh, stress on these cables when they are bended towards the motor, uh, and it gives better protection probably. So everything is sealed off very well, so there won't be any problems with the water ingressors. It was on uh, AC 855 controllers. So the lifetime of these controllers would be way, way longer, I expect. Okay. So that's all for the about talking of the components. I'll start disassemble. I'll put the new elements. And then I will mount it on the bike. You can see I put the sprocket back in place. And the new motor core. So remember to install this small, sorry, this small locking piece before you put the sprocket. And then you need to secure it to this circuit. And then after that, I just need to put this black goo. <laughs> 
smear everything around like here and then I can put the gearbox back in place and pretty much the job is done then it's very quick as you can see all right I have finished assembling the motor core and the controller with the old parts so this is how it looks like you will notice straight away the motor is going out much more than previously by 10 millimeters. As I mentioned, control is bigger, so it's just going completely under the bottom bracket. Yeah, but if you want to more have more power, then you need to accept uh, that the motors are becoming much bigger. Yeah, but that's part of the fun, I would say. So, it's important uh, to keep in mind the cable arrangement. Put the cables in the right place so they will not stick too much when you put it under the frame. Yeah. So the order of connecting of these cables is quite important. And that's it basically. So I'm left with this. Maybe not completely broken, I can still use it. Motor core, this generation 2. It'll be interesting to see if I can fix it. She said nothing about it. <laughs> Probably I'll have to play around with it. My experience is that you know you can always replace these whole sensors. So it's just a matter of a question how much uh, work you want to put into this. Okay, so now it's time to put this motor back in the bag and see how it goes. Okay, installation is finished. Here you can see the battery by the way. Just need to complete installation of different stuff. But that's what it is, more or less. So as before, motor is secured uh, to the frame with the two bolts. This one and another similar one on the other side. Here you can see the clearance between the controller and the bottom bracket. Completely show the other side. Okay, so set up as usual. From the right, you can barely see there is any difference. And that's it. Yeah. So, for those who are not familiar with this battery, it's designed to deliver 4.5 kilowatt. I will see how it performs when the power goes above this level. But I think it will be alright. There is always some spare capacity reserved in these BMS chipsets. So I'll just quickly show you the noise levels. Pretty noisy, but that's normal from this motor. On the road, you don't hear it so much. Okay, time to close everything and take this bike on the road.